Our mouse is a very integral part of drafting with AutoCAD. We are going to learn the controls of a typical three mouse button. We'll learn about the center scroll button, the right button, and the left button. Let's use our 2D house plan for this exercise. Let's start with the middle button. This is a scroll wheel with several powerful options like zoom, pan, and 3D orbit. Let's start with zooming. With our scroll button, we don't have to start a command to zoom. Simply roll the button forward or away from you and this will zoom in. Scroll backwards or towards you and this is for zooming out. Next is our zoom extents. If we simply double click on the scroll wheel, our drawing will zoom to the furthest extents of the drawing. This is really convenient when we have a large drawing. Next, let's explore our pan. If we press and hold the center button down, this becomes our pan. We can move our drawing around without having to zoom. Next is what's called a joystick pan. If we press and hold the control key plus holding or pressing our middle button, we get this feature. Let's double click to zoom extents once again. Now, let's look at our 3D orbit. This can be extremely helpful in 3D. Let's press and hold the shift key and then press and hold our scroll button down again. Let's go ahead and press our control key and Z to undo our 3D orbit. Next, let's explore our left and right buttons. Our left button is mainly for selection and picking points. Our right button is more for menus and options. Let's use our line command from our draw pull down menu. Our command is asking us to select a point. I'm going to left click and pick a few points. Let's combine our right button now with our line command. Let's start our line command again. Before we pick our first point, let's hold our shift key down and then right click. This produces a snap points menu. Let's select the end snap point, left click and select our first point. Next, let's use the same option, but let's select our mid snap point and select the midpoint of a line. Now we're going to erase our line. From our modify pull down menu, let's select erase. Left clicking on objects will allow us to select the objects to erase. In our earlier lesson, we set our right mouse button to act as an enter key. All commands require us to finish the action by hitting enter. All we have to do now is right click to finish. This keeps our right hand on the mouse for quicker drawing time and less hand movement. This is a quick introduction into our mouse buttons. As we progress through our lessons, we will learn more ways our mouse can increase our drawing time.